So far, we've explored many questions that challenge the Big Bang and classical cosmology models. But this time, things are a bit different. I don't know what would convince you personally, but what kind of discovery would truly force us to rethink the Big Bang model from scratch? Suppose someone came forward and claimed that our universe was born by bouncing out of a massive black hole inside another universe. And suppose they could demonstrate this, not with exotic matter or speculative physics, but with a mathematically consistent model using known and accepted physical laws. That, for me, would be enough to consider rewriting the Big Bang theory entirely. Well, that's exactly where we are now. A group of scientists from the United Kingdom, Spain, and India have just published a paper that offers a bold alternative to the Big Bang. They suggest that our universe may have originated from inside a black hole located in a much larger parent universe. And they don't present this as just a speculative idea. Instead, they support it with a mathematically consistent model built entirely on the foundation of physical laws that are still valid today. Of course, the Big Bang Theory and Einstein's general theory of relativity have done a great job explaining key cosmological phenomena, such as the cosmic microwave background radiation, the large-scale structure of the universe, and the accelerating expansion of space, often attributed to dark energy. At first glance, this makes the current cosmological model look quite convincing. However, the Big Bang Theory still faces serious unresolved problems. The true nature of dark matter and dark energy remains unknown. The singularity at the beginning of the Big Bang, the point where physics itself breaks down, is still an unsolved issue. In addition, the fundamental conflict between general relativity and quantum mechanics persists. It's as if we're ignoring the giant elephant in the room, accepting the Big Bang without truly questioning it. That's where a group of scientists from the University of Portsmouth steps in. They challenge this passive acceptance by starting with a simple yet profound question. Why is the universe constantly expanding? They found it unsatisfying to explain this with a force called dark energy, a name we've given as something we don't actually understand. Is it really enough to label an unknown as dark and let it define the future of the universe? Their newly published paper, titled Gravitational Bounce from the Quantum Exclusion Principle, opens with a bold premise and may offer all of us a completely new perspective. The authors begin by pointing to a remarkable observation. The entire observable universe lies within its own gravitational radius. What does that mean? When we calculate the total mass and volume of the universe using Einstein's field equations of general relativity, we find that the universe is dense enough to be considered, from the outside, a black hole. In other words, the Schwarzschild radius, which defines the event horizon of a black hole, doesn't lie outside the universe. It lies within it. If we were outside this universe, looking in, we would see something very similar to the event horizon of a black hole. No light or information could escape beyond that boundary. From the outside, our universe would appear just like a black hole. And this isn't just a thought experiment. It's based on a physical reality that has been tested and confirmed through Einstein's equations thousands of times. At this point, the researchers ask a very reasonable question. If stars can collapse under their own gravity to form black holes, could the universe itself have formed in a similar way from the collapse of a massive structure in some larger universe? In other words, maybe our universe didn't begin with a singularity, but rather emerged from a gigantic gravitational collapse inside a parent universe. To explore this possibility, the team conducted simulations paying close attention to some persistent contradictions in current cosmological models. But perhaps the most surprising part is this. They discovered that an exact and analytical solution already exists, a solution that describes the key principles needed to model such a process. How'd they do it, you ask? As a first step, the researchers developed a model that represents the universe collapsing in on itself, like a massive cloud of matter pulled by its own gravity. This idea isn't unfamiliar in cosmology. The so-called big crunch theories, where the influence of dark energy fades and gravity takes over, are well-known examples of such scenarios. In this new model, the entire universe is treated as a region falling into an enormous black hole. According to classical physics, such a collapse would be dominated entirely by gravity, eventually leading the system toward singularity. In other words, under our current understanding, a collapse of this magnitude could only end in a giant black hole. However, the model developed in this study goes beyond classical thinking. 
by also accounting for quantum effects. In particular, the Pauli exclusion principle comes into play, the rule that fermions cannot occupy the same quantum state at the same time. This may sound highly technical at first, but it's actually not that hard to grasp. Fermions, such as electrons, protons, and neutrons, are the fundamental building blocks of matter. What makes them special is that no two fermions can share the same energy level, spin, and position simultaneously. This natural law is known as the Pauli exclusion principle. An easy way to imagine it is like a narrow elevator. Picture a building where each floor is so small it can only hold one person. If someone is already on a floor, another person can't enter that same floor. Fermions behave in the same way. No more than one fermion can occupy the same quantum level. This new model tries to explain a collapsing universe, not just with classical cosmology, but with quantum principles like these. It suggests that the collapse might not inevitably end in a singularity, and that the quantum pressure generated by fermions could actually halt the collapse. Imagine a star or a massive cloud of matter collapsing inward under its own gravity. As the matter compresses, fermions like electrons and neutrons are forced closer and closer together. At this point, the Pauli exclusion principle becomes critical. Fermions cannot exist at the same energy level and position simultaneously. This fundamental limit creates a kind of repulsive force, an invisible pressure, known as degeneracy pressure. And this isn't a new idea. White dwarfs are prevented from collapsing by the degeneracy pressure generated by electrons. Similarly, neutron stars stay stable thanks to the degeneracy pressure from neutrons. This mechanism is already observed in nature. Now, here's the core proposition of the paper. If an entire universe were to begin collapsing, the quantum pressure generated by fermions might eventually stop that collapse and even reverse it. This reversal is known as a gravitational bounce. To explore this idea, the researchers constructed a model of a collapsing universe with roughly five solar masses and specific matter properties. On one side of the model, they used Einstein's general relativity equations to describe the classical gravitational collapse. On the other side, they included quantum equations that account for the pressure arising from the exclusion principle. If gravity dominates, the collapse continues and a singularity becomes inevitable. But if quantum pressure prevails, the collapse halts at a critical point and the universe begins to expand again. The chosen mass value lies within the range where the effects of fermions are most pronounced. Yet, the researchers suggest that similar results could emerge with even larger masses meaning this bounce could be a general feature of gravitational collapse. In the model, the collapse process has already begun. All matter is being pulled inward by gravity, increasing in density. At this point, classical physics no longer suffices. But quantum physics, especially the Pauli exclusion principle, comes into play. Since fermions cannot occupy the same quantum state, a quantum pressure builds between them. This pressure halts the collapse at a certain density causing the universe to expand again. This moment, where the universe is essentially reborn, is known as the gravitational bounce. This process offers a profound solution from quantum physics to a seemingly inevitable fate of cosmic collapse. The results of the model mathematically validate that such a bounce can indeed occur under specific conditions. To understand this, the researchers combined Einstein's field equations with the Dirac equations that govern Fermi's behavior. Additionally, they use the Einstein-Carton theory, which incorporates the Pauli exclusion principle within the framework of energy-momentum conservation. Through numerical simulations, they observed that once a critical density was reached, the collapse stopped and expansion resumed. The gravitational bounce had occurred, and the data shows this is not just a theoretical construct. It's a process that can happen under real physical laws. The paper also ties its predictions to actual astronomical observations from the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST. JWST has spotted galaxies in the early universe that appear far older and more massive than expected. Under the standard model, such galaxies shouldn't have formed that quickly. But within the bounce model, this anomaly might be explained. Massive black holes existing early on may have accelerated galaxy formation. In summary, this model offers not only a theoretical alternative, but also a way to reconcile unexplained cosmological observations. If future telescopes detect more early black holes or remnants of stars, 
the gravitational balance model could gain strong empirical support. But you might ask, if our universe was born from a bouncing black hole, why don't we observe such bouncing black holes today? There are two main explanations. First, timing. Such events are rare and may not coincide with humanity's brief observational window. Second, technical limitations. These bounces happen inside black holes, which are shrouded by event horizons. Even light cannot escape. We simply can't see what's inside because this is where general relativity breaks down and quantum effects dominate. According to the model, the collapse forms a black hole, but within its core, quantum pressure from fermions builds up, stopping the collapse and initiating a new expansion, a gravitational bounce. In conclusion, models like Roger Penrose's cyclic cosmology once seemed purely theoretical, but JWST observations are beginning to make them testable. And today, they're no longer just speculative ideas. They're being supported by simulations and mathematics. As Penrose once said, every Big Bang is a rebirth that follows the end of a previous universe. Someday, we may even prove that our universe was born from inside a black hole in another universe. But then the next question will arise, where did that universe come from? Such questions are often deferred into infinity. But perhaps, one day, those answers will be waiting for us, right where we left them. Until next time.